Okay, so what if uh, what if you've got a young student, or you yourself uh, want want to learn about programming a computer? Where's a good place to start? Well, I have one suggestion. If you don't have any computer experience, uh, any programming experience whatsoever, one suggestion that I would recommend <coughs> something called Small Basic. It's from Microsoft. So let me hit enter there. And here's one of the uh, sites where you can download it. Okay, click download. It's easy to. It's a quick download. It's easy to install. Um, another one. Let me open a new tab. I'm on IE9, which makes it cool. Go to my home, and there's Google. Type in small basic. There we are. So another site to be aware of is Development for Beginners. Of course, that's what your programming computer, you're a developer. And you can get started right away. Now, both of these would be worth, I'm going to shut that survey down, both of these would be worth taking a look at. And um, so it's a, a small basic. It's, those are the two words that you would need to know. And um, you can read these on your own, but I would take it, when, once you've uh, done that, once you've downloaded, you're ready to start. And I would take a look at the uh, the getting started online. So this is the HTML. I don't have to download anything. And then here's some samples. Uh, so it's really really quite fun. Here's a fractal uh, using the turtle draw. Here's a photos. And here's the one I want to look at today because one of the earliest games was uh, Pong, which uh, kind of is intriguing to me as an example of a game. So uh, if you get into programming, one way would be go, to go with the, starting with simple games and learn some of the concepts. And rather than going through all the tutorials that are offered with, uh, with this on the two small basic sites that I just showed you, uh, instead what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the interface. And here it is. And it's very cool. It's so simple. So here's if you want to start a new code or you can open. Once you do some codes, you can save. Save as, of course, as at whatever name you want to put. You can import code. You can publish. There's a way to do that. They have a website set up for you. We won't get into that quite just yet. Uh, cut copy just like a, you know, any of your ap applications. So look how straightforward this is. This is where you can actually run the program, see if it works. Uh, graduate, I haven't checked that out yet. I won't worry about that too much. They probably spit you out a diploma or something like that, I would imagine. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to show you a little trick here. So let's take this paddle game. It's like a little, almost like a pong game. And look, they've got, here's the code. So rather than, uh, I'm just going to expedite the whole thing by copying. Okay. And um, I've got that on my clipboard. I'll come in here. I right click and I paste. And there's the code. Isn't that cool? I'm going to show you a little, little trick that I like about this. That these, these functions that they have here, the dot functions, look what happens if I double click on that. It gives me some help information over here. Graphics window, of course. Graphics window, you can imagine that's. Uh, it's going to generate a graphics window, and we'll see that in a second. It's got a shapes, so I don't even have to draw a rectangle or the ball. They have, uh, in shapes, they'll draw that for me. They already have a function ready to go. Okay, so let's take add rectangle. Uh, what are these numbers here? Well, it tells me over here. The add rectangle is going to draw a rectangle with width and height that you provide in the parentheses separated by a com comma, and everything works that way similar to that. Okay? Uh, ball shapes. Add ellipse. This is going to draw an ellipse. So I double click to see my help. And width and height. So if the width and height are the same, guess what? You get a circle for our ball. Pretty cool, huh? Well, let me hit run and we'll see what this looks like and then we'll come back into uh, t uh, kind of dissecting the code and, and uh, understanding how it works. Here we go. Get my paddle ready. Whoops. Now, luckily, that's going slow because I'm uh, I 
I might have missed the boat there. But you see, that's just like your uh, old Pong game. In this case, there's just one paddle. Uh, but very cool. And uh, that little bit of code, and I'm going to shut this down. And by closing it, that stopped it. Just this little bit of code generated that Pong game. Is that cool? Absolutely. So uh, let me shut this down and uh, we'll see what we have and then we might do another one and kind of get into what this code does and how it works. Okay? Thank you for watching.